Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV. I'm talking quietly because my face is so close to the camera. Sat in my tiny office with Mr. Atsuhiro Takeda of Alpine. Hello, Atsu. Hello there. Um, just so that we know what we're talking about, this CDE 181R. Well, it's uh, nearly entry level. We've got it playing through these Bowers and Wilkins speakers because there's a couple of things that uh, Atsu wanted to me to hear and see about it. Now, tell us about this machine. This is not quite entry level, Atsu? Uh, no, there is one uh, below this, a CD tuner, which has a much DI pull. Uh, control through the USB. And and this is set to retail at around 99 quid or a little bit less by the time people have discounted it, I guess? Yes, I expect it would be about that kind of money, yes. Uh -huh. Now, um, we've actually had a little compare with another Maker's Head unit, I won't tell you whose, simply because Mr Takeda wanted to hear how they're sounding next to his, and, well, for all it's being entry level, it does sound pretty darn good. Now, the reason you're looking now at the power supply and the, mo the meter on the front is because of the voltages these things will run at and the modern stop-start technology in cars. Now this is fairly standard, we're going to turn this down now. What voltage do you think this will stop working at, Atsu? About nine and a half volts, I think. All right, okay, let's uh, crank it down. Oh, music's fading. Let's uh, bop the track on and turn it up a little bit. Got to be using the energy. That's the thing about the blues. Anyway, here we go. Turn it down a little bit further. Nearly nine volts. Where does myth in? And reality. Oh, reality <laughs> cuts out just below, just below nine volts. So, the Alpine unit will work to a fairly low voltage, but what we're going to do now is uh, connect in the uh, other unit, which has got this uh, newer chip in it, and see how well that one works. OK, we're back now. This is the CDE185BT, and, uh, well, there it is in the rig. I'm going to let Mr Takeda tell you a little bit about Atsu. Tell us about this, this machine. 230 quid retail? Yeah, so it'll be retailing about £230. It's a Bluetooth unit. Uh, it's our first very colour unit for Alpine uh -huh. and uh, it's got quite a lot of extra features not we can't discuss it all today because we don't have time for it um, but the one thing that's special about this and also the 183BT the one model below and yeah. the 182R is that we have uh, introduced a new power amplifier uh, sorry a new amplifier chip I should say yes. it's got a higher damping factor and uh, we've been told that it has a better rescue well, course, I think it does. Uh, I've heard it, and it's 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 lovely. It's, it's and, better fidelity. It's just and the reason why we're here is that we wanted to compare it with our previous model, and it yes. definitely does sound better, even at low volumes. It's noticeable. Yes. And uh, does help that we're using those lovely B and W monitors, of course. But <laughs> of, of course, it would sound just as, as good, obviously through yours in a car. And, and the nice suspect. thing is that uh, I don't want to. Uh, uh, put down the 181R, the previous yes. model, because that still did sound good when we compared it with a model from our competitors. Yes. Uh, so uh, overall, very happy to have, have a good like and a, and a best amp. Okay. So the voltage performance of this thing was was epic. We just you just show me a demonstration or two, which is what we're also going to want to see. So that's right. Take this, us through that. What, what this unit has is they have something called a countermeasure for stop-start technology vehicles. Yes. A lot of cars now have the ability for the engine to shut down at, so when you stop at a traffic light. Uh, but of course, when the engine restarts, the uh, the voltage uh, drops down. Yes. And that can switch the uh, stereo system off. Uh, so this unit has a uh, ability to cope with that and we can just show you that with this um with a voltmeter here yes we did see the other machine go down to just about nine volts before it just powered off completely didn't that, we that's right so if i turn this down so we go down straight to nine unit is still on okay and then i'm going to drop it down to about seven volts seven volts so i mean that's that's motorcycle voltage can i have a look it is still on it's still on and of course, it's only momentary yes. when uh, the car starts again. That's probably maybe about mm -hmm. less than a second when the voltage drops. But the fact that it can handle this yes. kind of low voltage means that it won't switch off yes. when you're when you're at uh, traffic lights or if you're stopping a traffic jam and yes. you stop starting. Just to show that there's no uh, sight of hand going on. If you actually go below that, I believe we can see the display really struggle just when you go to like five volts yep, before it okay. actually turns off. Just watching okay. it up here. So it's at seven now. Seven. And it's oh, look, 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 the lights are going down. It's, Ooh, there it goes. It's just under six volts it switched off. Wow, that's tremendous. <laughs> that means with a little transformer, you could put this on a six-volt motorcycle. No, seriously, what an amazing uh, bit of electronic control for, uh, yeah, I still for a modern head unit. I would recommend it for an old Beetle with a six-volt system or anything like that. <laughs> you know about that stuff. Uh, but, uh, yeah, well. you can see how, you know, cast change, and so stereos have to change, and uh, yes. it's one of those units. We do have other models... Uh, the 183, the model below, and the 177 and the 178, which is the models we launched last year, which carry on. All those have the same uh, technology as well. Excellent. Actually, thank you so very, very much. You're welcome.
to look, if we can do this, uh, another little clip to, uh, to look at at a later time of one or two of the features, because there's a new bass control system, which is really sexy, which we'll have to set the camera up to look at with me app. So if we can do that as well, they can look at that in a week or two, bless them. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>